All right guys, today I'm gonna show you something I've never shown on this channel and that's how to practice along to music with your HX Stomp, the XL, the Pod Go, all of that stuff. I've never actually shown you how to set it up, so I'm gonna do that today, but I have a little treat for you. Uh, I've been working on something I'm very excited about and it has to do with the channel. It's right here, you ready? A new YouTube studio is coming very soon. I actually just broke ground this week and I can't believe how far along I am. Let's check it out. If you've been around the channel for any amount of time, you know that I've been filming all my videos from like the corner, little corner of my bedroom and it's time to get out. My wife wants that area back, so do I. Uh, yeah, hence the building. Let's take a tour, which is not much yet. It's just like a little box, but I'm excited about it. Right now we are at the dried in stage. Uh, it doesn't have the shingle on yet, but it's, it's dried in for the rain that came in this past weekend. And uh, yeah, here we go. There it is simple uh, shed roof right here. Those are not gonna be windows. I just don't have the siding on yet. Actually, I have workers coming in a little bit to, uh, to finish some of this and to get other things on. And the next step is that the electrical will come in and uh, yeah, I'm gonna be placing all the receptacles. I'm gonna make sure there's a lot of power because I'm gonna have to have lights and studio monitors and what else? Cameras. Hopefully I can get some like permanent cameras hanging from the, from the ceiling, do like top down shot over here. Hopefully we'll be like, my course creation, if you don't know, making a course about the pot go, then the Helix. Well, no, then I'll do the HX Stomp XL Helix. Yeah, so I got some courses coming up. Course content creation and, um, you know, product stuff, pedals. Then over here, uh, probably space for my, uh, my workstation where I can build more presets and stuff like that. Uh, maybe a couch or something for podcasting. Uh, maybe some chairs and I would love to get like, a, like an electric drum kit because my kids, they like to play instruments and so need a place for them to be able to do that. So anyways, here it is. Some nice large windows because I, I, you know, when you're filming, you want to be able to control the light and I'll have to have some way I can control it. But uh, yeah, I want to just be able to have some good daylight in here. At first I thought it was just building like a little shed and it is a shed, but it's like, it's like almost a house. If it wasn't for the fact that uh, there's not gonna be any plumbing in it, but I am gonna have HVAC and electrical in it. Um, it's almost like a, a little mini house. It's just nestled right here in my backyard. Uh, pretty close to the tree, uh, but not too close, so hopefully that's safe. For all you construction people, I got good venting going on because it's insulated from the bottom and didn't want any moisture getting up in there, so I encapsulated it. Encapsulated it. T111 siding, I got some trim coming. It's all actually in the back of the truck right now. So yeah, all that stuff's fun, and I will keep y'all updated on how it goes. I don't know if the project's gonna slow down. Things do cost a lot of money right now, which is not a great time for building a building, but it's what it is. All right, let's go talk about how we can uh, practice with like an MP3 or tracks or however you practice, or just run pads uh, through your HX Stomp. Let's go. So we need to go to global settings. Let's hit the hamburger menu, which is page left, page right at the same time. We need to page right over to global settings. Make sure you are on ins and outs. Then you page over until you get to return type. Normally I have this set to return because I'm using my uh, send and returns for like uh, my signal or an extra pedal. But in this case, we wanna turn it to aux in. And what this allows us to do is plug in any MP3 player or file player, like an iPad or a computer or your phone. If you're an iPhone user, use your dongle. Uh, and it will allow you to hear sound without it affecting your signal chain. So it won't have any of your effects applied to it like reverb or distortion or whatever you have. You just get a clean audio signal, which is perfect for practicing and or using pads. And if you remember, I actually have my own pads bundle on sale right now. There's three different sounds, three different algorithms, if you will. Uh, they all have 12 keys each and I, I love them. I use them every week. There's like the warm, the guitar, and the shimmer setting. And well, let's hear what they sound like now. So if I hit home, you can see my signal path there. My pads are playing through this app called, what's it called? Soundboard. Uh, this is the free version, meaning like once I push play, if I were to leave the app, the sound is gonna stop, but you can pay and then the sound will keep going which is a good benefit. I don't use this app live because I use Ableton, but if I did, I would definitely invest in the paid version. So I'm gonna show you how this sounds, and then I'm also gonna pull up Planning Center to show you how you can play along to like practice tracks. So we'll hit the key of C. And there's the shimmer pad. Sounds good, I faded it out. All the sound is just in my room. I'm using my uh, studio monitors here. We have the KRK Rocket 5s, I have two of them. 
There's the other one. So the only thing I will say about running things this way is that you will need to adjust the volume on your device itself. I've shown you how to run multiple instruments and how to run pads through your signal chain by using a, uh, a parallel path, which is only available not on PodGo. It's only available on HX Stomp, XL, and Helix. But what you can do is drop a volume block and then you can have your volume pedal adjust the volume of like, let's say your pads. But in this case, all we have is just aux in, so there's no volume to adjust it other than on the device itself. So we'll hit C and then I'll need to adjust the volume on the device itself and then I can play on top of it. I got my telly, remember that? My dog's barking in the back, but you get the idea. The next thing I wanna show you is that you can actually use Planning Center, and if your worship leader has provided you a practice track like to Ableton, you can also do that. So let's see, we'll scroll down here to Glorious Day, look at Files, and Practice Track. Intro, two, three, four. and you can practice along, it's pretty cool. So just to review how I have it all hooked up, I'm coming out of my iPad here with a TRS cable. You can get these in different links. I have, actually have them linked below on my gear page. I'm coming in TRS right here to the uh, return, left mono. I'm coming in with my guitar signal here and I'm just coming out stereo out the back and that's all you gotta do. And it's really cool because like I said, you can practice along the parts, which is really the most helpful thing of all. You can hear it in your headphones if you wanna do it that way or through studio monitors. And it also allows you to play with pads. If you're like a solo artist and you want pads, you want it coming through, you can run it like this as well. All right, I gotta get going. If this was helpful, let me know. Drop a comment down below if you run something like this. Like the video if you did, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.